key element from our faith is forgiveness. You look at Yusuf alayhi salam. Yusuf alayhi salam, he was betrayed by his own brothers. He was treated unjustly, thrown into a well. In fact, originally they had thought, let us kill him. But then one of the brothers said, no, we'll just throw him into a well. He gets thrown into a well. He's picked up, taken into slavery. He's accused of something foul. And then he's imprisoned unjustly. And then while he's imprisoned, the people he spoke to to help get him out, they forget about him. Think about what a difficult life that is. Now some years go by, and then he confronts his brothers again. He's in a state of Izzah, he's in a state of power. He's a minister now. He can have them exiled, he can have them imprisoned, he can have them executed. But what does he do? He shows the epitome of forgiveness. He says, لا تثريب عليكم اليوم يغفر الله لكم وهو أرحم الراحمين that no reproach or blame be upon you today. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you, for He indeed He is the most forgiving and the most merciful of all those that show mercy. And when was this repeated? It was repeated by the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when He entered Mecca. For 13 years He was persecuted, His companions killed, physically, mentally, emotionally abused. And then He enters Mecca in a state of Izzah, doing what He could have done. Again, he humbles himself in front of the Kaaba and he tells the people, La tathrib alaykum al-yawm. That no blame or reproach be upon you today. May Allah forgive you. And then all of Mecca entered into Islam on that day, subhanAllah. Showing you the power of character, showing you the power of integrity, showing what wins the hearts of people, showing one of the key fundamentals of our beautiful religion, forgiveness.